G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. This morning we've got a bit of a quick article from you from news.com.au. I came across this and I just had to jump on and make a video. So essentially this has all come about um, uh, after the result of the US presidential election, so Donald Trump being elected and the liberal-minded uh, women uh, across the world carrying on that it's uh, end of days. So this article is on news.com.au written by a journalist called Chantal Francis. And this article is called No Sex, No Babies. The 4B movement goes viral after Donald Trump US election win. And so what is the 4B movement? I did a bit of quick Googling on it. I think it's more or less the female equivalent of a sort of extremist MGTOW, right? But it really doesn't make a lot of sense coming from the, the female side. I can understand MGTOW. I can't really understand this 4B movement. So searches for this term you've probably never heard of have spiked in the wake of Donald Trump winning the US election. Interest in a radical feminist movement where women refuse to date, get married, have sex with men or have children appears to have skyrocketed since Donald Trump won the 2024 election. So let me just stop it here. I think it's really interesting that um, you get a lot of these feminist types who say that they don't want to be objectified, that, you know, their body and, uh, you know, there's this sexual um, proclivities have nothing to do with them as a human and all that. Fair enough. Like, oh, I think that's fine. But then don't come around when you don't get something that you want and then go and do the exact same thing, which shows that you're objectifying yourself, which is to the only way you can protest this decision, which is stupid. Um, you can't protest it. But the only way you can protest it is to withhold bedroom action and date men and not have their babies, which is really incredible uh, for me uh, to read this, and I and I don't know about you guys um, watching who and who watch my channel, but sometimes some of the stuff I talk to you about, I feel like I'm really just living on a different planet, and, it's, and especially a different planet that I used to, you know, be a part of, or a different world, right? Uh, like ten or fifteen years ago, it's just gone completely off the rails, tropo. That some of this radical stuff can really get a voice in the media and gets pushed. And that's why I like to bring it across and, and show you all what's happening over here in Australia. So Google Trends shows the 4B movement in the country shut up after the Republicans' victory. This finally flipped a switch in me. I'm going full 4B movement and I mean it. And 4B B movement is my answer. I am on comments garnering thousands of likes on TikTok videos regarding to the election result, reacting to the real election result. What I find absolutely incredible is you get these female journalists, because I haven't seen men do this, you get these female journalists who go, just go on TikTok for the sources of stories and use that as gospel as to what's happening out in the world. And then, you know, also yeah, then go into the comments section to get, you know, sound bites from the comments section of a particular video to reaffirm a position as it's like it's gospel, that it's not just completely bonkers and a fanatical position. And a chart to me is useless. Like, where are the axes? I can't see the x-axis and the y-axis exactly what, like, how, what's the numbers here. One video of a young American woman crying, which encourages women to join the movement, has been liked by more than 200,000 people and viewed 1.4 million times. So once again, guys, you get the liberal-minded um, people. And I try and stay away from politics on my channel as much as possible. Um... But the second they don't get something they want, it's blacklisting, it's going on the attack, it's it's going out on a on the warpath um, on social media. And especially uh, these type, kinds of articles come out. Me and my girlies are participating in the 4B movement. That's my next plan, said another woman in the clip, with more than 170,000 likes and 1.2 million views. If you thought you were involuntary celibate before... Wait until you see what women are like when they realise that having one of your babies could cost in them life. Okay, pretty extreme. One creator with more than 600k followers said under the hashtag 4B movement. Doing my part as an American woman by breaking up with my Republican boyfriend last night and officially joining the 4B movement this morning, said one 
said one on TikTok with a whopping 1.7 million likes and more than 9 million views. Bizarre, you know, like they just tell on themselves and they really go to show how immature um, and childlike the mind can be. I'm not saying all women are like this. I'm saying these type of women who generally lean to the left, is kicking, screaming, um, it is hysterics, uh, it's over the top, um, accusations, you know, oh, well, if I have a man's baby, I could die and blah, 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 blah. It's just, it's just rubbish. Let's see what this lady has to say. Hang on. So this lady, this is, oh, don't worry about Abby Chatfield. She's an Aussie that no one cares about. The other thing that's happened is that now that my content reaches a lot of men because I have an IQ of 130. Oh, wow. I, I want the men in this country to know that half the female population, we're dry. We're probably going to stay dry. Good. I'm dry as a desert, baby. And I don't want it to change. The other thing, thing that's happened is that men... Don't worry about her. I'll, I'll get onto her maybe if I can be bothered, but I don't want to give this particular woman any airtime. Um, bit of poison, I would say, uh, for females out there in Australia who actually follow her. So what did that woman say? So she said that she's so smart because, number one, she's got 130 um, points of IQ. Uh, so to me, that, that, that makes me really question someone going on TikTok and then making a point talking about themselves being dried up. Like oh, To me, that doesn't show a high level of IQ about how far and wide that can reach. So people can pro uh, claim they've got 130 IQ, which is almost genius level. IQ. I think around 140 is like, you know, you're in Mensa. Uh, so 130, uh, no way of validating that, just says it. So so what is, what of all of these arguments and screaming, and I've seen a lot more articles around about how women are acting, uh, about saying how it's end of days, um, Trump being elected president in 2024 is a war on women, uh, women's rights are going to be abolished, we're going back to the 1600s and all this other sort of hy hysterical stuff, Okay. Where does all this really stem from? And I'm not an expert on this, okay? But essentially, all this argument and all this screaming is that uh, Kamala Harris was going to come in. Her promise was to, you know, have all these left-leaning policies um, around the termination of children, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't have a position on those. I don't want to talk about that on this channel because that's not what it's about. But essentially, those those potential. Um, Policies were very much uh, designed to get liberal left-leaning women, which is the majority of women, um, to vote for her and get her in. That's what she was using as a trump card. No pun included. That didn't come up. So now women are turning around and saying, well, Trump's not going to do that. You know, now my rights as a woman uh, to, you know, abort children and all that sort of stuff is under threat. The 4B movement originated in South Korea and protests misogyny and gender-based violence. Abortion rights is one of the main issues Americans highlight when suggesting they'll join the 4B movement. Roe v. Wade, a landmark decision that ruled the constitutional right to abortion in the US in 1973, was overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022, paving the way for states to ban abortions. Three, uh, three of the Supreme Court justices, justices who voted to overturn Roe were appointed by Mr. Trump. In a post on his social media network last year, the president-elect took credit writing, after 50 years of failure, with nobody coming even close, I was able to kill Roe vs. Wade. He added, without me, the pro-life movement would just have kept losing. The president can have a major impact on abortion policy in the US. It is unclear what Mr. Trump may do in the next four years. Some advocates of abortion rights fear a Republican-controlled Congress could enact a nationwide ban. The Republicans won control of the Senate, but control over the House hangs in the balance. Some fear a ban on shipping abortion pills, which account for about two-thirds of abortions in the country. Now have a look. Have a look at, at, at who would have been the main voter base um, in control of almost the world economy, the destiny of the world over the next four years. These ones who they don't think about when it comes to politics, that a country is essentially a business and needs to be run as such. It isn't a social uh, enterprise. And these people here 
Um, like guys, and I'm not going to really get too much into politics, but have a reflection on your own lives and think since the left have really been pushing agendas across the world over the last four or more years, has your, has your quality of life gone up in any way? I would, I would have to say, no, I've noticed a, a severe uh, erosion in, in quality um, of life. It's, it is literally a fact with inflation and cost of pressures and you know interest rates and all that sort of stuff, okay? So we, we can't turn around and say it would have gotten any better um, under uh, Kamala Harris. Once again, I'm not gonna comment on. It's not a political channel. But I just like to say, these are the kinds of people who would have been voting to influence your future, your prosperity, um, any hope you may have for, for, an, 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 uh, for things to get better because life is really hard. Uh, it's really hard, especially for men. I'm not going to say for women. A lot of great women out there who work hard, um, invest their money, and are, are helping supporting households and stuff as well. But you get a lot of these people who have no commitments and stuff, and they just want to see the world burn, essentially. I mean, look at this stuff. I just, I got no real comment on it. And I find it just over the top that, can you imagine if, if there was a, a male... Um, reaction uh, like this, say, say, say Kamala Harris got in and there was some huge male thing and strike and everything. Men, men, we don't act like that. We don't have protests like that. We might not like a result, but we get on with life. Uh, and I think this outcome and this um, showing of behavior, attitudes, petulance and uh, temper tantrum throwing shows it really puts a spotlight on how the majority of women and younger women, I'm not saying all women, younger women in 2024 think. And I find, it, I find it scary. I really do. And I feel sorry for the blokes out there who have to put up with this. But you've got... Um, I'm going to have some closing remarks here. So you've got these women who are um, uh, saying they don't want to have your kids... Um, they don't want to date men, they're not going to do all this stuff. They're generally the ones who are on TikTok crying that they can't get Chad. They can't lock a guy in. How long do you think these women are going to stay off dating? If Even if they are. I think it's virtue signaling. It's, it, it's clickbait to get likes and clicks and all that. How long do you think they're going to be able to stay off the dating apps? Like, guys, think about when you've been on the dating apps or if you're on the dating apps and you might chat to someone and they say, oh, I've had enough, I'm deleting my profile or whatever. Fair enough. They, they're annoying, okay? The, uh, the dating apps. Oh, good. I understand people getting off them. Then like the next day or two days later, they're back on there because they can't stay off. They can't stay off. I gave all that up for that exact same reason. Like, it's just poison. So I've, I don't use them anymore for that exact reason. But I stood by that. Uh, and th th These guys will be on it for two days. They're saying... I'm not going to be giving babies and blah, 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 blah. Do you think there are going to be guys or the guys that they want are going to be lining up to have a baby with women that carry on like that? Like the, the beta cuck dudes will do it. I hate using those terms, but the soy boy guys, they're the ones that have babies with those kinds of women. Not men with any backbone, self-respect or traditional values. They're not chasing uh, liberal-minded fanatical women to have babies with. They might be chasing them to put them back in the VN Calais behind the cricket ground, but that's about it. That's about it. Let's finish this article out. So Kamala Harris campaigned on the key message that women should make decisions about their own bodies. She vowed to never allow a national abortion ban to become law and promised to support a bill restoring Roe, Roe's protections. Uh, I'm not going, I don't care about that. I'm just like, I was like commenting on these videos just showing how emotional, emotionally invested. Look at this. You've got a crying and she's got a Taylor Swift hat on. That's just got to tell you about what Kamala Harris's uh, voter base was. These aren't personal attacks. These are observations. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Now, you know what? Let's do something different. I'm going to jump in. Let's look at the comments here. There's 325 comments. Let's see what, what the general consensus is. Ah, good old Craig here. Great. Less guys having to pay years of child support. <laughs> uh. I understand why many are disappointed given the questionable focus on the abortion issue, but who are they punishing? Trump? Males? Their own relevance? And for what purpose? The election is done and dusted. Spot on. 
Are liberal men going to abstain from dating and marrying women too? Men just get on with it. Liberal men are too busy collecting Lego and playing computer games. <laughs> hey, I like games. Uh, she's a bit late to the party. The men already left the room several years ago. Time to get a cat and a box of wine, sorry. Oh, guys, anyway, look. <laughs> it goes to show you that not everyone panders to this sort of nonsense and it really is over the top. Thank you very much for listening to this. These are just my thoughts. Uh, unstructured as usual. Just scripted. I just wanted to talk about it. I just came across them and just, I thought it was hilarious. All right, guys, have a great day. Uh, and thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far.